Hello everyone, this is Rex from Shunovich Gaming, here again with Borderlands 2. Uh, so, I was messing around, you know, spending money like I normally do between episodes. And I accidentally clicked on a location, the unassuming docks. And, uh, we missed a little, a little cutscene. Um. And, uh. Yeah, we missed a little. We missed a little cutscene, so now we're we're stuck in a role-playing game, and that's our quest right now. Um, it's about that we're playing a role-playing game with Tiny Tina. Uh, it's Brick, Mordecai, and uh, Lilith. We're all playing this role-playing game, uh, and we they they suggested we go into the town. Brick is a siren. Uh, the siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest of all sirens. Um, but we gotta go to the Flame Rock Refuge right now. I, I don't really know what was going on, but, uh, this is where we are now. Uh, cause I clicked a button. And apparently you can't go back now. Uh, cause I was just trying to see where all the side quests were, cause there's one in Sanctuary. And, uh, well, here we are now. We stumbled upon this happy side quest. Where we are currently looting all the bodies. And we can't go back to Sanctuary until we do this, so... Hope you're all ready for a ride. Skeleton Archer. He doesn't seem to give a shit about my... Gun here. There we go, that, that got him. Is there another Skeleton Archer? Oh god, there is. This seems like an unfair way. You can't just keep putting enemies in the... Okay. Let's let the shield recharge just a little bit. Those enemies were new. They didn't seem to like my uh, sniper a lot. Looks like we are following the rules of D&D, &D, where skeletons take uh, less damage from something such as uh, a piercing source. Uh, we can pull out this brand new SMG we got, because now we're using SMG in the slot. Which is another thing I was going to tell you, but then this happened. Uh, and apparently I can't replay the cutscene, I'm sorry. Okay, he shot me. She is making a whole skeleton army here. I also don't know how you crit skeletons. Skeleton swordsman. Skeleton archer. Seems to hold me in place when he uh, does that. Yeah, so we got a whole new uh, range of enemies to figure out how to deal with. Because uh, I don't really know uh, what any of these enemies are, what they do. They seem to drop guns that they don't use. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're stuck in a role-playing game right now. Uh, this might be one of the DLC areas, if I had to guess. It, uh, it's a little strange here. I also upgraded some of our uh, weapon slots with uh, you get close to the entrance Iridium. to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... Oh. The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Oh, oh, I wanna smack it. Uh... You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! Well, isn't that delightful. The dragon attacks, and... Huh! Critical hit! It's just straight up... Great. Are we done now? Tina, uh... You can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm... Touche. Okay, everybody back up. I wanted to kill something. <laughs> okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy? I am Mr. Bony Pants Guy. Does that work? This pleases me. Oh, I'm glad it pleases you, Brick. I'm... I can't tell you how happy I am for you. 
Mr. Bony Pants guy, you need to chill. I don't know if you do a lot of damage or anything. Apparently not. All right, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Oh. Go, go, go. She sounds a lot like a new DM that doesn't know how to guide her party. If you guys have ever played a role-playing game, this is kind of what it's like with the DM's first time. Where they just don't really know what they're doing. The players don't really know what they're doing, and no one really knows what they're doing. But, uh, they're just having a good time. There's a lot of skeletons in this place. Oh, that one's got a shield. Ah, oh, he's got a shield. That's probably bad. Good thing my pistol fires like a shotgun. I don't know what exploded over there, but don't appreciate it. Oh, you can stop running at me. Yeah, this stuff definitely slows me. Uh, luckily, I am an assassin. There's a bigger skeleton up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hamlet of Swift passing through. That sounds like an appropriate name. Probably gonna pass through it if I had to guess. Where, where are you getting those extra axes, friend? Oh, that killed him. Okay. Cool. Smash that? Yeah, also enemies just randomly appearing. Also makes us feel like a role-playing game. With a DM who's a little flustered and new. Anyone else want to come out that door? I don't think you do. Hopefully we don't run out of ammo. I'd hate to resort to melee this whole time. <laughs> Hamlet of Swift passing through. Everything's also appropriately named in this world. Like uh, Mr. Bony Pants Guy. Okay, just gonna loot all the things real quick. Maybe there's a legendary weapon. I don't really know. I, I really don't know, guys. I, I really got us stuck in this predicament, and I really don't know how to get us out of it. But it's okay, because we're just gonna beat it. A lot of shotgun shells. Armored skeleton. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that armor really helped him. Alright, Tina's got a everything comes in twos DMing style. That looks like a weapons case over here. On this pirate ship. There's some warning indicators flashing. And we fixed the warning indicators, they are no longer flashing. Not yet fixed though. So how to get off that ship. There we go. Alright. It's like a real adventure over here. That guy over there looks a little intimidating. We're all just gonna have a pleasant time going through this adventure together. Opening all the treasure chests that are just randomly spread around. Thank you. Let's let's try again with the sniper rifle. Yeah, these archers hurt a lot. They uh they're definitely piercing through me. 
feeling I'm going to need to use that re redeploy button a lot. And my trusty shotgun pistol. We are picking up some loot, guys, so can't say this hasn't been entirely unproductive. Rock golem. What's going on over here? Ow. Hey, rock golem. I'm just gonna take this uh, loot over here. If you guys don't mind. I just wanted to kill him and get out of here. Uh, so you guys can have fun. There's another rock golem for you guys. Uh, there might just be a never-ending pit of uh, things fighting over there. So let's uh, let's go into the Flame Rock Refuge, where we've uh, been supposed to be going this whole time. There's a lot of skeletons now. And I disappear. A ghost amidst the combat. Preparing to strike. Might be better for me to die right here for a second. I am ready. Just hide from that bitch for a little second while we uh, get our shield back up. Oh, I'm not breaking his AC, because unlike Borderlands, there's like an armor class in this one. Where you have to, uh... Uh... You have to actually, like, hit them. Oh, there are definitely more enemies over here. Hopefully there's a weapon case around here. I don't I don't know what what else. Oh god. Oh no. No thank you, sir. Give me a second. I got an idea. I pull out the uh, magic rocket launcher of smiting, which I believe has only one shot left. Yep, there it goes. You gonna give me cool loot or something? Oh, we've half health him. This kind of does feel like playing a role-playing game just a little bit. Uh, with, with, with how health works and everything. Oh, he dropped a rocket launcher. Yes, that's what we wanted. Well, we killed the badass skeleton. Anyone else up here? Any ammo? Sniper rounds. Snipers aren't really useful against skeletons. A little harder to hit with all the holes in them. Yes, a gun case. Or an iridium- or a gun case with iridium. Every form of currency in the game in one chest! I wonder which character I am. Am I Brick the Siren? Is that who I am? This trusty pistol's been uh, very trusty so far. Apparently I may need something that does explosive damage for the mission at hand. Apparently. So it has a star on it like it's important. Oh, 
All right, well, here we go to Firewalk uh, Refuge. I don't know how long this uh, this role-playing adventure is, but uh, we're, we're going to see. It's a nice little sidetrack, a little change of pace from uh, just the wonton slaying. You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you going to do now? Stop playing this game. <laughs> Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. All right, let's go find some townsfolks to talk to. You. Hopefully, me just openly having a gun, not gonna piss off anyone. In some role-playing games, the town folk don't like it if you just have a gun in your hands. Hidden chest up here. Extra rare loot. Nope. Excuse me. Give me a turkey leg and a flask of grog. The queen hath gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again. I don't know how that relates. Looks like we should go find this Eleanor. I don't. I don't know how those two things relate. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. <laughs> I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> you look troubled, ma'am. Tell me how I may help you. I long for I forgot he only speaks in haikus. The queen is missing. She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world. So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree alive to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. I hope it And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. I, I, I was really digging that, uh... I was really enjoying the, uh... The... The haiku speak. So we gotta just go into the forest and assume the queen is still alive? That seems pretty legit. Hey, townsfolk. Hope you're doing okay. Hey, ma Nobody's technically allowed in the forest since the world went dark, but the gatekeeper's a real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. <sighs> Got it. I'll just I'll just tell him that, yeah. Is this the only named town in this adventure? Uh another standard practice of new DMs not naming things. A A A. I don't know what I just saw, but I don't want to see it again. Keep getting them shotgun pistol. The magic power of shotgun pistol. I must be a wizard to them. There appears to be loot over here, so... What's this cliff called? Closed for your safety. Why can't I just... Oh, I can't enter the forest this way, because apparently the world doesn't work that way, and they built a wall in the only conceivable place. Uh, hopefully we can speak in more haikus. I do like haikus. They're, it was pretty good the first time. Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, then. Whoop! Time out! I gotta take this. Miss <laughs> Tina. It's Mr. Tor! Tina! Put me in the game! Okay! The gatekeeper is now Mr. Tor! Woo! <laughs> yes! I wanted to see you! So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude past me! First task! Blow up the village of scouting blimps with the fire weapon, because reasons. I like this gatekeeper better. He's got style. Blow up the airships with a fire. Oh, that's a weapon we can use. Okay. Hey, scouting blimp. 
You're a little far away for me to actually shoot you. Is there a scouting blimp over here? There we go. All right, that's that's, that's uh, some serious commitment to your roleplay, Tina. I, I, I'm amazed you got a voice actor. I'll I'll go get the other one. You just you just wait and see. Oh, there's more treasure chests. Yeah. So the reason I'm not just uh, exploring the town as you normally would in Borderlands or a role-playing game, which Borderlands is sort of like an RPG. I mean, I, I, it is by definition because the leveling up and stuff. But um. Yeah, uh, I, I assume that if Tina is a good dungeon master, she will bring us to every every point in which there is treasure. I have to prove my bad attitude before I can be accompanied into the forest, though. That doesn't seem to make as much sense to me. We'll roll with it, though. Yep. We had no reason to do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go to that tavern. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to that tavern. Um, Lilith is the one talking reason. Is she playing a paladin or something? No one likes paladins. This town doesn't have a tavern. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. You're at the tavern. Uh, sure. Yeah. Moxie's gra- So it's hard to find an ultimately disappointing? That's what she said. <laughs> God, those things are rigged. Moxie, I'm surprised you're not bright orange because that body is legendary. Wow. I thought it said girls plural, not, not girls singular. Hey, adventurer. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Oh, rough is my specialty. Punch him? Yeah, I doubt it. That is unacceptable. Chase him down. Got it. Punch him so hard he explodes. Okay. Yeah, I'll do I'll go do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Punch him so hard he explodes. Uh. He said he'd never say anything douchey again and called me a bitch. His fucking funeral. He should have said it in haiku. Where are you? There you are, bastard. There he is. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I just said that. What if I just shot him? Apparently that don't work. Ah! Do I have to cut him off somehow? So every time I get close to him, he seems to get ahead of me. I think this way should cut him off. Probably. Because if I had to guess, he's going to run around in a circle. So if we run around the same circle backwards, we should run right uh, into him. Oh, shit! Tina, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. <laughs> well done. I'm glad. Not only did we destroy the village's only ability to monitor for threats, 
We also just killed a villager. But hey, we got permission to enter the forest. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Gavin the Gatekeeper. Uh, wait, so, so do we still have our, our actual story mission? Yeah, we do, but we, we actually just... We can't access it. Okay, um, I know that's the story mission and all, but there is half a million side quests here. Is this something I was supposed to do after I beat the game? I have uh, this strange feeling that this is this is something I was supposed to do after I after I beat the game. Um, sadly, we can't blow up the ocean. That's not a it's not a quest anymore. Sadly, but we can go do some side quests over here. Yeah, I think this is supposed to happen after we did the story where we go and save Lilith and everything. You see Sir Reginald von Bartlesby, aristocrat and riddlemeister. If you can solve one of his brain teasers, you'll get a reward. Well met, adventurers. I have a riddle for you. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere, nowhere. What do you call me? Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that riddle. I shall repeat the riddle. I am everyone and no one. And Brick, don't slam your dice onto the board. You broke Tina's figurine. Whoops. Uh, you won. Yay. <laughs> Good. So what was the answer to the riddle? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad. I'm glad, Tina, that you just made a riddle that you... Are all the side quests like this? I have a feeling all the side quests are like this. Uh, I'm having a good time though. I, it's gonna be, we're still gonna have to beat the the border, Borderlands game, which was probably a. Hey sugar, get some. Times are tough, sugar. Ever since the sorcerer cast his crumpocalypse spell, we've been running awful low on food. If you spot any crumpets, be a doll and grab them, would you? Wait, we can only bring the town crumpets? Tina, you know there are, like, other kinds of food, right? You haven't seriously been living on just crumpets for the last few years, have you? I do not understand the question. Wanna help me out? Thanks again for taking care of those numbskulls. I left a gun for you, kinda sorta nearby. Feel free to grab it, honey bear. Okay. Um, no, yeah, th this feels like an extension to Borderlands after you beat the game. But shouldn't it be unlocked after you beat the game and not just randomly? Bet I can. I got a quest. All right, I got a sweet ass quest for you. First, Torg, why are you even playing? We all know you aren't actually interested in nerdy stuff, Muscle Boy. What? I can't like geek stuff just because I take care of my body. Discrimination! Can we get rid of this phony already? Ladies, ladies, I have an idea. Adventurers, you must find the three hidden questions of true geekiness. Torg, if you can answer my nerdy questions three, then a part of this game you shall be. I want to do this quest first. <laughs> this, this seems like some pretty fine role-playing. But yeah, we went to the unassuming docks, and uh, there was a cutscene about how uh, Vault Hunter sat down, at, er, sat down to play a game. And, uh, here we are. Uh, yet again, I do think it was, uh, supposed to happen after... A after, uh, you beat the game. Th that's okay, that's okay. It's, it's all good. We don't... 
that wasn't really important. Beating beating the game, the, the importance was beating every part of the game. Um, how am I supposed to access this question? Alright, mystic boat that appeared out of nowhere. Can't touch this. You're shitty archers. You're gonna run out of ammo sometime. There's a there's a question there. I fell off. Apparently this is solid. Guess we'll just continue falling then. Cool. Probably still gonna charge me money. We'll just retcon that. Uh, we got Hyper the Hyperion Corporation to play along. Yeah, th this definitely does feel like an after you beat the game kind of adventure. And we'll, we'll get the other adventures too whenever we're done, like all the, the extra DLC that we don't have and go and play through that too. But right now, we're playing a role-playing game. Uh, let's see if Tork can answer these questions. Balloon, I need you over here. Those arrows hurt a lot. Also, those ones are suspended where I used to be standing. Also, I'm terrible at shooting while moving and on a moving vehicle. Okay. <gasps> Shit! No! Got it. You have found the first geeky question! Mr. Torg, in the Echo Show Space Journey in Space, what color shirt you noted that a crew member was likely to be eaten by Greg? Red! Correct! On to the next question, adventurers. Why are you testing me on this stuff again? Because you're a muscly guy. You gotta make sure you're not faking geekhood just because it's trendy. Time to go to work. You guys can quit shooting arrows at any time. Cool. So he knew that was a Star Trek reference. And he knew that, uh, people in red were more likely to die. Okay. Make the jump. Yeah, it really slows down where you're supposed to jump. Maybe we shouldn't have missed the jump that other time. But yeah, the other thing that, uh, puts me a little, uh, after the beat the game feeling about this is Sanctuary disappeared on my, uh, radar, and, uh... These missions are higher level. Maybe you unlock it at a certain level. And that's why we're here. Because we're at the level required. To play these missions. I mean, I like it. I'm enjoying it. It's a nice change of pace, but when we go and beat the other missions, it's going to be very, very easy. Because we're beating higher level missions. Uh, we'll probably go into the forest, maybe, before this episode ends. I don't know. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. We're just kind of feeling it out as we go. Streetwise Wars. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. No, get... Uh, he's also immune to bullets.
Melee scroll the thief? We gotta go punch him. I think we've done another enough punching today. Also, every party needs a good barbarian. Come on, come on. Give me that piece of shit. In the Echo Book series, King of Jewelry, the rightful king needed to reforge his broken blank. Sword! Correct! On to the final question! Oh, I hate chasing people. You guys are being super exclusionary. I agree. Look, when I was a kid, boys mocked me for two reasons. My tattoos and bunkers and badasses. I suffered for my geekiness. You don't get to invade my culture just because it's cool right now. Holy stacks up. Wow. A lot of these uh, first time bunkers and badass players are... Uh, not really getting along. Also, Tina is leading us to all the chests of loot. Here comes the scroll! You can give out side quests in town or something. All right. You guys sure are the best. Where my mama didn't name me Mr. Torg. Wait, your first name is Mr. Torg? What's your last name? Flexington! <laughs> Bring him a s Quest time, Humpa Dub! A dangerous monster whom you should kill is hiding out nearby. End of quest briefing! Yeah, that was quite the quest there, Torg. Uh, I appreciate it. Mm hmm. Let's do the post crump apocalypse. Because uh, that's just in town. We're just going to do the ones in town real quick. Uh, it's over there. Can I walk across this? Fuck, dude. No, don't do this to me. I'm really good at type rope walking. Whoo! That was... That was a trip. Alright, this is Little Bridge here. Now see, this quest is the one that's supposed to direct you to all the loot in town. As you can see, a fetch quest usually brings you to all the important places in any good campaign or Borderlands side quest. Okay, supposed to go this way. There are more chests down here, which means more loot. Okay, let's go, 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 go. These unassuming docks ain't got shit. I'm gonna kick their ass. Their unassuming ass. This looks like a uh, encounter area. Yeah, it looks suspiciously like I'm going to be attacked. Black Widow Spider. Just trying to reload there, Spider. Thanks. Oh. Need this? Are you guys infinitely spawning? Oh, 
Alright, they're not infinitely spawning. Fun fact. It's got some pretty killer music though. I do I do say I gotta like I do like this design of the bunkers and badasses feel. Although I kinda wish I had a party to go with me. Uh, the legacy of Brick the Siren. Now, one more crumpet to find, though. When we find this crumpet, we're gonna punch it or something. I don't know. I'm doing a lot of punching. Blow up the ocean. I still want to do that quest, though. I don't. I don't know how to do it. But I kind of want to blow up the ocean. Because Tor Torg suggested it was a possibility. Just like Claptrap suggested collecting 5,000 million... The trees are alive? That's good, good information to know. What is a crumpet anyway? It is a griddle cake made from flour and yeast, traditionally eaten with butter. All I ever eat, son! Ever? Seriously? You should literally be dead. No, dog! I gotta live forever! <laughs> uh, I also love that it brings in uh, the characters just in a casual setting. Yeah, the other thing about the um, cutscene that it mentioned was that Roland was gonna run late. Because um, Lilith is trying to explain to Tina that Roland's not coming, and she's like, we need to wait for Roland, and uh... They then had to explain to her that Roland isn't actually coming. Collect crumpets in the docks of little importance. Is this going to give me the ability to... The, the, do the unassuming docks of potentially... Cool, glad I could read that. Yeah, skeletons, I really am not a fan of fighting you. A badass skeleton over there. There's a crumpet down here. Shit, it's on that roof. Round two. I'm not a fan of fighting all you skeletons. I already fought all you. I don't want to fight you again. I know how to get that. We just gotta run. Run, 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 run. There are so many enemies. In case you missed Borderlands, I guess. Sword fighting. It's the real way. Alright, so we gotta jump onto the balcony of this roof over here. It's right there. It's all gonna be parkour challenges, isn't it? The docks of little importance. It's a fitting name. This is the in case you missed. In case you missed all the loot of the first time you were here. <laughs> Trying to re reload. Excuse me. Dead. I'm glad I upgraded my stuff with Iridium, um, last time I checked. Uh, last time I was in town there. Didn't do damage, did stagger him though. Alright, there's another crumpet over here on this dock. Oh god. Give me, give me a second to recover from that. Oh god, you have laser eyes. What the fuck are you? Laser eyes aren't fair. Wow. 
He has laser eyes. Tina, that's, that's a little bit unfair. I wonder if we can go back to Sanctuary ever. Or if Sanctuary is just gone now. Because I was going to go accept side quests in Sanctuary, which was the other reason I was in Sanctuary. I was trying to see before the episode started where else there were side quests. And then I clicked on this dock, and now here we are. We're just going to outrun these guys. I don't want to fight this badass again. fine we got the crumpet we gotta go cuz this this fucker is chasing us He's chasing us real bad real bad oh, he was using his laser eyes okay well we gotta get past this rock golem looks like hey rock golem Oh, now he's unbound? What the hell did that mean? Don't know, nor do I care. Collecting crumpets, excuse me, ignoring you, thank you. Collecting bullets, thank you, ignoring you still. Thanks. Crumpet, 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 crumpet. Gun case, gun case, gun case, gun case. Yeah, you're 13 years old. Maybe you should consider eating something other than crumpets. I brought food for lunch. You could. Oh God, what is that? It, it's a salad. Why is it green? It looks like a demo. Just calm down. <laughs> it's staring at me. I'm glad those guys are fighting each other and not me. Now we gotta go collect crumpets in the forest. Let's see where all our missions are. Yeah, we, we can't go invade the, the Hyperion Info Stockade. Pick up a gun, Moxie left for me. Get credit for killing the monster. Let's go collect crumpets in the forest. And then we'll just call it an episode. Um, yeah, so I, I do think we are now stuck on this path. We will eventually defeat Handsome Jack. I think uh, this story assumes we defeated Handsome Jack. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, maybe we should have a button that allows us to go back and do that. Uh, if there is one, you guys can leave it in the comments below. And I will go listen to that. I don't know how many more crumpets we need to collect, but I hope it's just these other three. And I hope these skeletons stop bothering me. Because there's a lot of them. I kind of do like the story, though. Not gonna lie. I am kind of enjoying it. I'm just not gonna worry about going back ever. Well, one day we'll defeat Handsome Jack, but today we need to beat Bunkers and Badasses with, uh, Brick the Siren. Alright, to the forest we go. There's no loot over here. But there is a forest. 
Now, this is some pretty cool level design, though. I commend the artist on his uh, artwork. You enter the forest of tranquility. Tranquility. Boring. <laughs> hmm. Okay, good point. Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. Forest of badassery. Why don't we ask Torek? I'm sure Torek has a great idea for what we can call this forest. Um, I've got it. The forest of being eaten alive by trees. Holy fuck! Damn! I knew I should have trusted trees. Quick, that's not the point right now. The point is, there's actually a tree that could actually kill us. Holy shit. The forest of being eaten alive by trees. Potentially. What do you stumpies even do? Other than crawl at me menacingly. Yeah, take that, Stumpy. Yeah, Stumpy. Forest of being eaten alive by. Find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily style said. Don't Just stick me. to the main road and you'll be ace. Hi, Pixie. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Ain't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You ever notice that? Hi, Stumpies. Okay, well, we gotta go get these, uh, crumpets. Also, Handsome Jack's a wizard now. I don't really want to catch you, Pixie. We made it to level 32! Uh, now we can start building up another tree. Uh, that's, that's, that's a new one. We can also redeem these tokens for uh, elemental effect chance and uh, fire rate. We can relieve, redeem this level. Uh, may throw kunai five times. Zoom 3%, aim steady is 12%, critical hit damage plus 4. Reload speed and counter strike damage. We're gonna go with critical hit damage. I don't know where we need to go. This forest is insane. The forest of being potentially eaten alive by trees. Needs to chill. Alright, that looks like the closest, uh, thing. Am I supposed to be shooting these pixies? Uh, Queen will follow your trail another time. You you'll probably still be alive. Probably. I think this crumpet is over here. This actually doesn't look like a way we can go. What does this map look like? A straight fucking line. Hi, Pixie. Bye, Pixie. Killed you. So you don't fly right in front of someone with a gun. Okay, the crumpets are this way, but so is the queen's jewels. So maybe we'll find the queen and the trumpet? Crumpets? 
Got another save point. Sounds pretty good. Queen's Trail 3 of 4. Oh, spiders. Oh, spiders. Grass spider? Does that mean you have a fire type weakness or something, spider? That pistol looks pretty fun. Oi, over here. There's a crumpet over here. That's a big spider. Die, badass spider. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I can't see anymore. We're just gonna let myself go down. I'm out. Please, stop following me. We'll collect crumpets later. We'll finish the story mission, then finish the episode. Uh, that one. Get your ass back here, you fucking spider. Alright, let's go find the queen. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over here. Alright, well I'm going to leave this episode here. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's been Rex, signing off. Later, guys.